the SEA Games Muay Thai Qualifier Series is just over. So how do you feel about their performances just now? Well, uh, today's performance was actually very good. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the standard of Muay Thai is going up. Last year we sent three players to SEA Games, right? That is correct. And were they fighting today for the qualifying um, rounds? No, because a lot of them have moved on. One of them is now coaching and two okay. of them are schooling and one all is working right. now. Right, okay. So all the fighters that we saw today, they were amateurs, they were novices. That's correct. They okay. were all fresh. Okay. Do you see a growing number of youths in Singapore training professionally for Muay Thai as a form of sports and as a form of career? Yes, I think um, if we are going firstly on the professional as in sport, yes, because we are now in over 12 uh, educational centers, if you want to call them that. Most of the polytechnics, uh, most of the, in fact, all the universities, and we are trying to go into the uh, secondary schools and even yeah. colleges. Mm -hmm. But professionally, is another different matter whether they will fight for money or not. Mm -hmm. That is, of course, another point. Okay, yeah. so not many of them are fighting for money yet. Yes. Just for passion. That is correct. Okay. A lot of people here in Singapore, I think, being the society that we are, they take it as a very challenging sport. Mm -hmm. And I think it should stay that way. Okay. Right. It yeah. should stay that way. Alright. So we know that not all competitions can occur just anywhere, you know, on any ring. It has to be sanctioned, right? All yes. the rings. Okay, so correct. what's the difference between a sanctioned ring for competition and a non-sanctioned one? Well, firstly, a sanctioned ring would be something like this ring that you see mm. here for okay. you. It's an 18 by 18 ring on the interior, 20 on the outside from pole to pole. Ah, right? okay. That's the first thing. Right. Secondly, a sanctioned fight means a fight that is recorded officially. Uh -huh. They all receive a fighter booklet, uh -huh. and these will go down as the record of fights. Uh -huh. And this is recognized in 138 countries. Oh. We are linked to the IFMA, uh -huh. International Federation of Muay Thai Amateur, uh -huh. uh, which is Olympic recognized, as well as to the World Muay Thai Council, which is also Olympic recognized. Uh -huh. Okay. So these fights that these boys have had are a fully recognized fight. Okay. Uh, In terms of the referees and judges, are there special uh, requirements yes. as well? Yes. Officials will be actually trained and seasoned Muay Thai practitioners, mm -hmm. right? Including the referee, the backup crew, the ambulances. Everything uh, has to be in order. This is a full sanctioned fight. Okay. Without a doctor, without a paramedic crew, defibrillators, and all the medical equipment necessary, we will not proceed. Okay. Right? The safety right. of the fighters is paramount, uh -huh. always. Okay, and all the fighters have to be medically fit before the fight as well. Yes, it's also a precondition of AMAS, the Amateur Muay Thai Association, that they sign two particular forms. One is the fit to fight form, which the practitioners actually sign themselves. This shows that they are fit to fight. Secondly, the gym will sign a fit to fight form, mm -hmm. which means the boys are trained enough to reach a credible standard so that they are fit and they will not get seriously injured. Because in our experience, injuries occur when the fighter is not ready or has not trained enough for the fight. But um, the idea of uh, the fight today, as you can see, is an amateur and novice fight. So we wear the full protective gear, mm -hmm. the headgear, the bodyguard, the gloves, and the wraps, as well as the shin pads. Mm -hmm. now, these are the areas of uh, most potential danger where the fighters can get seriously injured. Mm -hmm. Now in this particular instance, you've seen that all the safety precautions are taken to prepare them for the day when they eventually will fight pro. Okay. Yeah. Meaning, without all the guards. But they have a long way to go before they reach that. Oh, alright. So, for professional competition, they go without any of this protective gear? That is correct. The pro oh. fighter, you fight not as what you term professional, as in earning money from the fight, but you fight pro rules. Okay. Pro oh, rules right. is five rounds. Three minute around, a minute rest in between. Uh -huh. And also, you will have no protective gear and you fight as the way the Thais have taught us. Mm, okay. Only with the gloves on. Alright. And a growing guard. Alright. Remember so there are many weight classes in the competition, right? That All the correct. way from 42 kilograms to 100 over kilograms. Yes. So, if let's say I'm below 42, can well, I... Well, you see, there are certain weight fight? categories yeah. that we fight in from even the fly, the light fly, uh -huh. up to the maybe lightweight, middleweight, light middle, yeah. um, light heavy, yeah. heavy, super heavy class. Yeah. <laughs> in Asia, we tend to limit ourselves down to perhaps a max of 85 kilos, oh. not even the cruiser weight yet. Oh, okay. Because the boys here tend to be a little bit smaller. Oh, okay. And same with the ladies, uh -huh. right? there's a two kilogram give between each weight. Oh. So you have to make weight. This is what the boxers call make weight. Make weight, that means to gain weight. To gain or to lose. Depends. Oh, okay. Most of the time, it's to lose. Uh -huh. Because in Muay Thai, you tend to want to fight light, uh -huh. but hit heavy. 
So you might be a cruiser weight in 95 kilo, uh -huh. and you want to go down, right? Mid middle weight, maybe 70 kilo or yeah. so. But I mean, it's kind of difficult, right? You can't predict yourself. Like, say, if I enter a competition thinking that I'll be going into the light weight, but I gain weight in the course of preparation because of muscle building and stuff like that. So well, it's, all, it's all building. Okay. You see, um, when you come from proper coaches, uh, a very uh, strong part of the discipline of Muay Thai is the weight. So fighters will be uh, given a weigh in on the day before and after that they will come in for the fight. If they do not make the weight up over that weight, they will be given a maximum period of two hours to lose that weight. How? <laughs> right? They will skip with a sauna suit on oh or do a quick gosh. five kilometer run to oh sweat it all out, uh -huh. put all that water out of you and perhaps go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> but then you will have to make that weight or it's no fight okay. at all. We believe that is part of the discipline of the sport. Oh no! Yes. So dieting okay. is very much part of this sport. Wow, that sounds torturous. And the regime might be even more challenging for amateur fighter Hilmi, who weighs 110 kilograms. Check out his showdown with professional Belgian fighter Olivia in the next clip.